The movement was begun by a scientist who discovered, quite by accident, these signals being sent. Please understand, they are safe as long as they are not discovered. They want their weapon. Look out for Charlie. Oh, I want that son of a bitch dead. I want him dead. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight years ago, I was releasing videos on the human antenna and how the human body can be used as an antenna or easily have RF or EF put through it. A lot of people would email me about this or leave messages going, you know, this isn't possible, you know, this is, this is craziness. And I was also speaking about how fungus on the body, on or in the body, as well as Schuonella and or graphene can cause a body to be extra sensitive to this. So you have all these people out there that have shocks, vibrations, sensations, pain, artificial tinnitus, noises that they can hear, all these different things, right? And people had a big problem with this. Well, it's starting to close in. They do this all the time. And they did it with geoengineering. And now they're talking about, oh, we need to do it. Well, they're already doing it, man. You know, it's madness. And then they're going to throw it in your face and, and tell you, oh, well, now we're doing it. You know, it's constant, 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 constant crap like that. So just recently, a viewer who I'll just call Vargas sent me a link and I went and checked it out. So they're saying scientists want to use people as antennas to power 6G. Why? Because your body is pretty great at harvesting wasted energy, wasted energy. The future of 6G telecommunications could come from visible light communication. Researchers at the University of Massachusetts, Amherst, believe using humans as part of the antenna system offers the most efficient way to harvest waste energy. In the process, humans could wear coiled copper. Hmm. Think about the aluminum levels in the soil and everywhere right now. They have made the air conductive. Make no mistake. They are already doing this and they have been doing it. They have been doing this to people. And a lot of people have no idea. And if they do get side effects or symptoms from it, the doctor will, uh, you know, tell them it's something else. And they believe it. They're already doing this. So, you know, the doctor doesn't know any better. They're trained to treat symptoms. They have no idea. And these symptoms are called diseases or conditions or whatever so your joints swell you have uh, bronchial problems you have hormonal problems you have all these different issues going on the doctor will tell you that you have arthritis or that you have tinnitus or that you have diabetes or you have this or you have that and these are side effects from this kind of shit and people don't know any better the copper bracelet is a joke it's an absolute joke when you already have so much aluminum in and on your body as well as fungus, shuanella, graphene. There is no need for a, a dumb little copper bracelet. They used to sell these to idiots back in the day. They probably still do. And it says the human body has a 6G antenna. Researchers designed a copper bracelet that harvests RF energy, opening the door to novel wearable devices. You're already wearing the device. They don't need that. One of the key components of 6G telecommunication, the follow-up to 5G, is visible light communication. Like what? Like your LEDs in your house? in which flashes of light are used to transmit signals. Isn't that kind of weird? Because a lot of people are seeing stuff like this in their vision when they're trying to fall asleep or do other things. They're seeing this now. People are seeing this and it's getting blown off as something else. While VLC offers numerous benefits such as better security and no known health risk, no known health risk, it still suffers from energy leakage caused by LEDs emitting radio frequency signals. Now, scientists from the University of Massachusetts Amherst have found a way to put that extra energy to use by turning the human body into an antenna, channeling the energy into low power wearable devices. The bracelet is the wearable device and you're using the body to power the wearable device. And the bracelet picks up the leaked RF energy that comes off your body. Think about this and think about everything that has been talked about on this channel for eight years or longer. This is in your face and it's total bullshit and thanks for sending this to me. Crazy shit. 
if you think that they're not already doing this, you're high. Now think about everything. Also, thank you to everybody who has donated. I am working on something, but I am in the middle of uh, doing some some serious stuff in the outside world. So um, when that gets done, I will be able to get some of these bigger videos done. And until then, look out for Charlie. We must fight to regain our freedom, or everything is lost. Everything. Everything is fine. 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 Ever